Well, I guess 8-1 did not load up, you guys. So I will redo 8-1. So 8-1's points, lines, and planes. So first of all, um, let me turn back to this page, okay? So undefined terms. Well, it's funny because when you take a look at the definition of a point, a point has no dimension. So really, that's a dot, but it represents a point. So all point does is gives you a position, kind of like the point is there. So technically, it doesn't have any size or shapes so would be itty bitty bitty, so really. And of course, a line is made up of all sorts of points. So the line, of course, is how thick is a line? No thickness at all. Um, here's a line, and there's two ways to describe a line, or three ways, really. You can call it line L, see line L. You can call it line A, B, or if you want to go backwards, you can even call it line B, A. But you see the symbols? It goes A, B with a little arrow on it, or B, A air on it that's the symbol for writing that particular line now plane is a flat surface it goes on forever and ever in both directions but it has no thickness either that's why these are undefined terms because they really you know if they have no thickness they technically could not even exist but they have properties right okay so then we know that there are defined terms so if we've got lines a line segment and rays so I've got a line here's a line line a B and if I wanted a line segment, segments do not have arrows, they should stop. So the symbol for A, B would be like this. See the difference in the symbol? A, B has the arrows, A does not. Uh, you can measure that. This is a ray, ray A, B. Um, it has one endpoint goes, so ray A, B, the symbol for A, B would be like this. Or this one's different because it's going the other direction, so it's really important that the endpoint goes first. This would be ray B, A, like that, which is weird. You think, okay, it's going that direction, but the symbol says that. Now, opposite rays are just two rays that go, are connected, basically makes a line. Opposite rays do. So, for instance, if I've got line, I've got ray, C, A, and I've got ray C, B. When you connect them, they make opposite rays, which is really just a, a line, isn't it? Okay, so this is fairly easy stuff. Oops, sorry, there it is. Okay, I've got ray C, B, and ray C, A. When you connect them, they make a line. Okay, those are opposite rays. Okay, now collinear. Let's go to this one. Okay, collinear. Um, oh, I'm going to back up plane. So we draw a plane. We usually draw a plane as like a parallelogram. We label it normally with a cursive capital letter. So this would be plane P. Okay. Collinear points are points on the same line. Okay, like this. Here's a line, line M. I go point A, point B, and point C. All of those are collinear because they're all habitate. They cohabitate or they're collinear because they're all on the same line. If I put a plane a point up here called D, that's not that's not collinear. Go planar. Okay, so let's take a look at my plane up here. Points on the same line, like say point X and point Y. Those are coplanar because they're on the point. Maybe if I had some point way up here above, like Z. That would not be okay. Um, so let's take a look at how to draw some figures, okay? So if I were to take a look and draw some pictures, I want to just draw some pictures here, okay? I think one of the hardest things to draw is drawing pictures. Drawing pictures. Let's say I wanted to draw one on plane Q with line A, B. Okay, so if I wanted to draw that, there's plane Q. Okay, so draw a parallelogram, just draw a picture. Okay, and then from that, I'll just put a line A, B in it. Okay. How about something different too? Let's have plane Q with line L passing through it. Okay, now that's kind of weird. So let me draw my plane cube. So I like to draw my planes like a parallelogram. 
Oh, you guys can't see this. So let me scoop my machine up so you can see a little bit better. There we go. There's my plane Q. And I'll put a line L passing through it. So a line L is going to go coming through. Hits right there. Goes all the way through, okay? Or maybe it goes like this. Hits right there. Goes like that. And you can see the other end. Maybe that's a better drawing of it right there. Line L, okay? So that is kind of what you've got on this. It's just the start of geometry and drawing geometric figures, okay? Um, here's your homework. It's on page 220. It's pretty darn easy. This is page 220, 220, sorry. And it talks about, give two other names for CD. Well, here's CD. You could also call it DC or line M, right? CD or DC, right? Or line M. Another name for plane M, well, you can go three points. You can call it plane, believe it or not, you can do like this, plane A, B, E. Make sure they're not collinear. A, B, and E. Okay. Um, and then that's the rest of the assignment for you guys. And it was pretty darn easy. So this chapter is going to be real easy. Make sure you're getting your stuff in at the end of the year. Everybody will receive credit for the class if you're doing your work. Um, if you're not doing your work, you're going to get an incomplete, and that'd be bad because then you'd have to make up some things or possibly the whole course.